What's up guys? It's Will with Basic Gear Review and today we're checking out the Geezer Butler Crybaby Wah by Dunlop. The opening riff in the song NIB solidified Geezer Butler as the first bass player to use a wah pedal, so it seems only fitting that the first signature bass wah would wield his name. The Geezer Butler Crybaby bass wah is specifically designed to complement Geezer's iconic sound with massive low end power and a mid range that cuts through the mix. Dunlop took the aggressive Crybaby 95 q wah and modified its sweep so that, from the heel down position, custom circuitry mixes in just the right amount of your dry signal. Pressing toward the toe down position smoothly removes your dry signal to allow the aggressive part of the wah range to stand out. The Geezer Butler Crybaby Wah is voiced exactly to Geezer specs, with convenient auto return switching so you can step in and out of the effect with ease. If you want to adjust the shape of the frequency's bandpass, just remove the bottom plate and use the internal cue control, which is factory set to Geezer's preference. <laughs> If you want to learn more about the Geezer Butler Crybaby Wah or see the complete line of Dunlop products, visit jimdunlop.com or check one out at your local music store. As always, if you like this video and want to see more bass demos, subscribe to our channel. You can also sign up to our Patreon page to get access to exclusive content and gear giveaways. Until next time, I'm Will from Basic Gear Review and thank you for watching.